Fisker had a big night, revealing the four-door, five-passenger Ronin EV convertible GT sports car, the compact pair EV SUV and its Houdini trunk, and a pickup version of the Ocean EV SUV dubbed the Alaska EV truck. However, they also showcased something else quite intriguing. The Fisker Ocean Force E2024, an off-road edition of the Ocean model, featuring an abundance of overlanding gear and captivating gimmicks. Here's what we learned about this exciting addition to their lineup. The Force E edition takes the already existing Ocean EV SUV and further enhances it with various modifications. For those who have already received their deliveries, although not many yet, or have placed orders for the Ocean, there's good news. The new Force E kit will be available not only as an option when ordering from the factory but also as a retrofit for existing Ocean models. Fisker will handle the installation process, putting owners' minds at ease about upgrading their vehicles with these exciting enhancements. The defining feature of the Ocean Force E SUV lies in its new, wider stance. This striking look is achieved by extending the ocean's fenders beyond the body, incorporating a cool and stylish sculpted diamond impression pattern effect. The stretched fenders serve a practical purpose as well, providing ample coverage for the larger wheel and tire package, completing the SUV's powerful and commanding appearance. The Ocean Force ESUV rolls on robust 33-inch chunky tires, encasing 20-inch rims that boast a distinctive three-blade design. The rims give the impression of fractured metal with bolts encircling the wheel perimeter, creating a visually captivating effect. The unique design resembles broken blender blades or a stack of razors, adding a touch of edginess and a sense of coolness to the overall appearance of the vehicle. During its reveal, the show model of the Force E edition had a captivating dark look, adorned with black paint and eye-catching orange Force E graphics. The graphics were strategically contrasted to enhance the outdoor aesthetic, and to add a playful touch, a little person climbing was depicted within the graphics image, further emphasizing the vehicle's adventurous and rugged appeal. The Ocean Force E features a higher ground clearance, protective underbody plating, front and rear skid plates, specialized dampers, and improved ramp angles compared to the standard Ocean model. More details will be available soon. Despite the standard Ocean SUV having a solar roof feature providing up to 1,500 miles of additional range per year, the Ocean Force E surprises with the addition of a custom roof rack. While this might seem counterintuitive, the roof rack has a webbed bottom, allowing some sunlight to pass through, albeit somewhat limited, to the solar panels even when loaded with gear. This ensures that the Force E can still benefit from solar charging capabilities in environments with relatively clear weather, like California. The Ocean Force E's rear end, like the front, received some subtle modifications. The bumpers have been tweaked, extending to the sides into the lower extended fender flares, both at the front and back. Additionally, each angle now features a bright orange tow hook, providing assistance in getting out of sticky situations when venturing off-road. These enhancements further enhance the SUV's off-road capabilities and add a touch of ruggedness to its overall appearance. The front of the Ocean Force E showcases distinctive features, such as the tow hook and extended bumper, giving it a rugged and aggressive appearance. One standout element is the unique triple fog light running down the bottom of the fascia, adding a touch of flair to the overall design. While the SUV's aesthetic might have an aggressive and playful play school vibe, it is evident that there was thoughtful consideration put into the package. Although it may appear more show-focused than purely off-road performance-oriented, the Force E certainly exudes an impressive and well-crafted look. According to the startup CEO Henrik Fisker, the Fisker Ocean SUV's Force East off-road package is set to be available in the first quarter of 2024. The package will be offered as an additional cost option to interested buyers. As of now, specific pricing details for the Force E package have not been announced. The 2024 Fisker Ocean EV Force East off-road SUV is built on the standard Ocean model with a generous EPA-estimated range of up to 360 miles on a single charge from its 113 kWh battery pack. While real-world range may vary, the Ocean's base range outperforms its competitors, making it a strong choice for off-grid adventures. 
CEO Henrik Fisker has finally unveiled the highly anticipated Fisker Pair, a compact all-electric SUV, signaling the promising progress of the emerging startup. The vehicle boasts a modern and sporty design, along with some practical gimmicks that are sure to attract attention. Drawing inspiration from the brand's other models, such as the Ocean EV SUV and the recently revealed Fisker Ronin EV, a stylish four-door, five-seater convertible GT car, Fisker demonstrates his commitment to innovation and pushing boundaries. There's no denying that Henrik Fisker is putting in the effort to make his mark in the industry. The pair's interior design prioritizes practicality and flexibility. For instance, the standard armrest adopts a one-piece pattern, simplifying manufacturing and fitting into all four doors. The SUV also features the highly anticipated Houdini trunk, replacing the traditional long liftgate with a lower panel that drops into the SUV's body, while the upper glass recedes for a spacious opening. As for seating options, the pair offers a six-seater configuration with two rows, accommodating three passengers across the front and three in the second row. Alternatively, a five-seater version presents two individual front seats with a storage container in between. The pair breaks away from the Ocean EV SUV's FM29 platform, which is also expected to underpin the upcoming Alaska EV pickup truck. Instead, the pair introduces Fisker's new simple light volume platform, as announced by the CEO. Powered by the cutting-edge Fisker Blade supercomputer, developed in-house by Chief Technology Officer Burkhard Hunk's team, this software-defined vehicle efficiently manages its diverse range of technologies. Thanks to this advanced system, the pair can receive over-the-air updates for quick bug fixes and system improvements. With an impressive 6.2 teraflops of performance, the supercomputer matches or even surpasses the competition, ensuring a high level of capability and reliability for the pair. During the presentation, Henrik Fisker confidently announced that the new pair would have a starting price of $29,900 before federal incentives. This suggests a potential take-home price around $23,000 for the base model after incentives. Fisker assured the audience that the development and design of the model are already completed, and they are currently working on supplier contracts to ensure the promised price remains intact. However, the final price will be subject to confirmation once the suppliers have their say. As for production details, they were not disclosed during the live event. Nevertheless, Fisker mentioned that the pair is scheduled to be released in mid-2025. Excitingly, pre-orders for all the brand's new vehicles, including the pair, are now open on Fisker's website. Apart from its association with the action-packed 1998 movie, Ronin refers to a masterless samurai, a skilled sword for hire wandering the land, ever prepared to face any adversary assuming a fighting stance. This makes it a suitable name for the new Fisker Ronin, designed to take on a legion of sporty electric cars approaching on the horizon. The executive jokingly hinted at the possibility of the name's connection to the movie during the GT EV's unveiling. After teasing glimpses shared by Henrik Fisker, the company's founder and design boss, the Ronin was finally unveiled in its entirety at an event held in California. This new model stands out as a bold departure from the 2024 Ocean Electric crossover, which represents the brand's entry into the mainstream market. Positioned as Fisker's Halo model, the Ronin serves as a stark contrast to the affordable, mass-market pair hatchbackoid and the cutting-edge Alaska pickup truck, both of which were also introduced at the same event. True to Fisker's signature style, the Ronin takes a remarkably unique approach. With its captivating sports car design featuring an elongated hood and distinctive rear deck, the vehicle's sculpting pays homage to Henrik's earlier successful projects like the Tramonto and Karma. Nevertheless, the Ronin's front fascia offers a glimpse into the brand's forthcoming design language, characterized by a cohesive light bar complemented by split-stripe LED accents. This signature Fisker-style element will also be featured on other models like the Pear and Alaska, solidifying its identity across the lineup. The Ronin defies convention as it departs from the typical coupe design. Sporting reverse-opening rear doors reminiscent of the Mazda RX-8, this car ensures effortless access to its two-row, five-passenger seating arrangement. Additionally, the carbon-fiber hardtop can be folded away, 
resulting in what Fisker proudly dubs as the world's first four-door, five-seat hardtop convertible. Engineered for high performance, the Ronin boasts a formidable triple-motor all-wheel drive powertrain, producing acclaimed 1,000 horsepower. This setup enables the car to achieve a rapid 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration in approximately 2.0 seconds. While ultra-quick EVs are nothing new, the Ronin sets itself apart with a focus on range, which is crucial for its grand touring aspirations. Distinguishing itself from conventional EVs with underfloor battery packs, Fisker integrates batteries throughout the vehicle's body structure, aiming for an impressive targeted range of 600 miles. The design model of the Ronin showcased at the event did not feature an interior, but when the finalized version arrives, expect to find swiveling screens and recycled materials similar to those seen in the ocean's cabin. Production is slated to begin towards the end of 2025, likely making the Ronin a 2026 model. However, it remains unclear whether Fisker will utilize its connections with Magna Stair or Foxconn for manufacturing. Facing competition from luxury EV convertibles by Polestar, Genesis, and Tesla, Fisker's new sports car will go head-to-head -head in the market. Reservations for the Fisker Ronin are currently open, with a $2,000 deposit securing your spot, a relatively small amount compared to the vehicle's starting price of $385,000. In 2020, a leaked image of the Fisker Alaska all-electric truck, posted by CEO Henrik Fisker, revealed its rugged design. The company later confirmed its development, aiming to rival the Rivian R1T and Tesla Cybertruck EVs. Recently, more details were unveiled at an event in California. At the recent event, Fisker confirmed the elongated platform, naming the customized version as the FT31. Positioned between a compact and midsize pickup, it boasts a 4.5-foot bed. To add a unique touch, the Alaska includes a pass-through gate beneath the cabin's rear window, which can be raised to create a large opening, resulting in a 7.5-foot long bed, including the folded-down second-row seats, and extending to 9.6 feet up to the open tailgate's edge. The automaker pledges to create the world's most sustainable and lightweight all-electric pickup truck, focusing on eco-friendly materials and production methods. The truck is expected to have a range of approximately 230 to 340 miles on a full charge, although the battery pack size has not been disclosed yet. Notably, it boasts the world's largest cup holder and a roof-mounted holder for second-row cowboy hats. The popular California mode, with all windows down, will also be available in the Alaska, including the mid-gate bed window. The initial price is set at approximately $45,400, excluding federal incentives. With these incentives applied, the entry-level model's expected take-home price would be around $37,900. Production is aimed for December 2024, although the CEO has been informed by his team that the first quarter of 2025 is more realistic. Currently, the Fisker Ocean EV SUV is being manufactured in Europe under a contract with Magna Stair. Magna Stairs Graz, Austria facility produces customized models for various manufacturers. There are plans to collaborate with Foxconn to produce the Fisker Pair EV SUV in the United States, expected around mid-2025, after the global launch of the Ocean. In a recent CNBC interview, Fisker hinted at the possibility of another Ocean-based model being built alongside the Pair with Foxconn in the US, but the Alaska pickup was not explicitly mentioned at that time. Fisker offers pre-orders for each new vehicle on their website.